What is going on guys? Cruz the Bullet here and we're going to be going over the brand new leaders for set 3. Um, there's not a whole lot of information that we can really talk about outside of what is specifically happening with the black leaders. But um, we're going to just kind of do some speculation and just kind of talk about what has what what we could maybe foresee in set 3. What's kind of coming uh, that's kind of in theme with some of these leaders. And then we could do like a mild discussion of the black leaders. Uh, we're going to do a whole separate video going over the black archetype in a later video. Um, so if you guys are down, let's kind of get into it. So the set leaders for set three are as follows. Uh, red has Jiren. Blue has Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Green has Piccolo. And yellow has Majin Buu. So... Let's talk about Jiren for a second. So Jiren's cool. It's nice that we're getting more tournament of power themed stuff, I guess. But the funny thing is, is that from what I'm understanding in terms of the translations here, tournament of power is not part of his, uh, his like specifications. He's not, he's not a tournament of power, uh, card. So maybe they're steering away from that uh, tournament of power like site like theme that set two is in maybe they're not trying to replicate the maybe they're not trying to put in more like tournament of power cards in set three so that way top Koo can't just play them out for free like i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure what is the deal for top for uh, Jiren. We'll just have to see. I just thought that was interesting. Um, but that's really all we know about Jiren at the moment. It's just that yeah, that's like the, the only caveat is that he's not Tournament of Power. So, um, we'll see. Um, Blue is Super Saiyan 2 Goku from the Majin Buu Saga. And that's about in theme with, what every, with everything else that is in the game right now for Blue. Like, a lot of units in Blue are either Future Saga or their Majin Buu Saga. We got a lot of Vegetas. We got a lot of, we got Gotenkses. We got Goten Trunks. Um, we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku from set two. Like it, this is just in line and in theme with, with that. Um, then we got Piccolo, which as we see, he's doing the Makonkin Sampo. He's doing the special beam cannon. So, I mean, we could theorize that this is potentially Saiyan Saga, which, I mean, makes sense because a lot of green units are, a lot of green units are, you know, Saiyans, and a lot of green, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a decent number of, like, Namekians and stuff, too, um, but, I mean, you got, like, Korin, Korin, uh, with the Korin Tower tag, um, so, like, Saiyan Saga is in theme with this, I think. Um, what I would... I, I personally would like to kind of see... Uh, I personally kind of like to see maybe more Namekian support. Maybe kind of bridge away from Androids and Saiyans. Um, and kind of build off of Namekians. Would be kind of cool to see. Um, I mean, we kind of had that in red a little bit. Um, set 1 had a lot of Namekians from Tournament of Power, but... Nothing ever really happened with that, so let's get some Namekians in there. We got pickle, we got a good chunk of Piccolos. We got uh, a Kami or two. Um, could be interesting. Then we have Yellow, which is Majin Buu. Um, I'm not sure where Majin Buu kind of sits in Yellow right now. Right now, um, the majority of what is in Yellow currently is Frieza Clan. So, in like Frieza's army, and I'm not sure what this tag, what this down, or what this descriptor is down at the bottom here. Uh, maybe, maybe it's like re, maybe it's like a regen tag. Maybe uh, it could be demon. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Like it's like Majin Buu just feels like like it's welcome. I'm glad that. Majin Buu is finally here and getting support. I'm sure a lot of people are excited to play Majin Buu because I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Um, but I just I don't know what kind of support 
would have what he would get. He's probably gonna get a lot of support in this set. Um, but I, in terms of cards that would maybe assist him here, I don't know if there really is much. I mean, you could probably say that. You could probably say that like Vegeta and Goku from set two would probably get use. You could probably say that Bulma is always gonna have use. Um, but in terms like thematically, like there's nothing thematic in the game right now for yellow that is in line with boo. So I don't know. It's interesting. Um, but in terms of all these units, I mean, we, in terms of 25 K leaders, uh, the only options that they would have to give 25 K leaders would be, uh, Jiren and boo because red and red and yellow are the only ones without 25k leaders and i would probably theorize that out of the two here jiren would probably be the 25k leader because it's jiren <laughs> um but i mean boo could probably too i guess because you know he's he regenerates he's a bit he's a bit more resilient than the other characters in the boo saga so i don't know i don't know we'll just have to see but uh yeah early uh early reviews for the leaders in set three, which is cool. Then we have this Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Front side isn't anything crazy. We already have like rough translations from other sources, um, from other sources, not necessarily here. And so I'm gonna kind of paraphrase what these abilities are. Um, so for Goku here, his main ability is uh, you pay an energy and then you can choose one of your battle cards and give it 10,000 power. Uh, and then if the energy that you removed was an energy marker, then that card gets 15,000. Um, so it's, that's very unique because there's never been anything in the game yet that utilizes the energy marker. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's a one-time thing, but maybe in set three, there's stuff that brings that energy marker back. Maybe just a thought. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, that's pretty cool, though. Um, I mean, G it's GT. There, there's a subset of fan of the fan base that likes GT. So I'm pretty sure people are going to enjoy um, that. And I can almost I, I can almost guarantee that the alt art for this is going to go is going to be sick. <laughs> then we got then we got Bardock, who's part of the starter deck. Uh, Bardock is span standard on his basic side. His awakened side is interesting, though. So. His awakened side is uh, on swing, draw a card, and then this card gains 5,000 power. So Bardock is a pseudo 25k leader, which is awesome. Uh, and then his ability is, uh, looks like it's once per turn. Um, probably on your turn, probably. It's on your turn, once per turn. Um... And his ability is, um, you can look at the top card of your deck. Um, you can look at the top card of your deck, and if it is a Bardock's Crew card, then you can use it, you, you will be allowed to use it in a combo. Um, and if not, you can put it back on, you can put it at the top or bottom of your deck, probably. Um, that's really cool. I, th I think it's cool that he's already a 25k leader, and then you can essentially boost him up by 10 um, to make him a 35k leader right on the bat, right off the bat. Um, and if there's, if there's mechanics like this, and we'll do this, we'll get into it a little bit later. Um, we'll get into it a little bit later in the, uh, in the black archetype reveal. But basically, uh, there's probably going to be combo effects. Black's going to be centered around comboing and getting effects proc off of combo. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, set three leaders finally happening so uh let me know what you guys think down below of the leaders let me know uh what you guys are kind of going for me i am very heavily leaning into bardock's crew i was a big bardock's crew uh player in masters and so i'm definitely going to be jumping in on this uh hopefully the supporting cards are good for it but we'll see um but all right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button as that kind of helps bolster up the channel. Comment down below what you guys want to run in set three based off what you're seeing here with the little information that we got. But uh, thank you again, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.